one of the options you have with inclusive tooth replacement solution is at the time of surgery you can make a decision whether it's appropriate to immediately provisionalize the case or to place a custom healing abutment. In either way, you're starting to set up the soft tissue to sculpt those soft tissues in, a, in appropriate contours for superior restoration down the road. And the case we're looking at here is, is courtesy of Dr. Dean Psyche, and he has just placed the implant. He's actually using a CO2 laser to create that ovate pontic space, which you see here. The decision was made not to immediately provisionalize the case, but to place a healing abutment. So he's placed the custom healing abutment and is now torquing the abutment screw to 15 Newton centimeters. The healing button is made of peak, which is a polyether ketone, which is a plastic. So you don't want to crank down the torque, but 15 is plenty. Nothing's going to come loose. And then what you ideally want to do is you want to seal that uh, that screw access opening so it doesn't create a food trap or, or leak into the implant. So you want to cover the head of the screw. In this case, it's a cotton pellet. You could also use Teflon tape or gutta percha as other, as other options. And then you seal the opening with either a resin or acrylic. In this case, uh, Dr. Psyche used a uh, resin cement which is light cured. And obviously once things have set, you can go back and polish or remove any excess. And this is what the patient leaves that day. So his patient's had the implant placed, the healing abutment is placed, and everything is ready to set up for nice healing. And the final shot is one week post-op, and you can see the soft tissue is healed nicely, and things are progressing very well, and are, will set things up very nicely for prosthetics down the road.